What's up guys, this is episode 6 of our Banished Let's Play, and I must say our town is doing quite fancily, although this orchard is kind of upsetting me. Uh, the year before this, it gave us a thousand walnuts, now it only gave us 250, and yeah, this season it's going up a little bit, but nowhere near that thousand mark that we had the other year. Uh, our crop fields, let's check them out, thousand food, awesome. Over here, the crop field, 476. Slacking a little bit, but it's still got halfway to uh, to go. As you can see, the numbers are going up. Food-wise, we're looking awesome. 4,000 food. Not bad at all. Now, I remember when we left off, let's see, storage for produced goods is near capacity. That's the schoolhouse. That's the storage barn. It's almost full. Here's our market, 38% full. So, I think we might need to put another storage barn up here somewhere. Let's put one... Hmm, not sure where to put it. We'll figure that out later. Now, when I left off last time, we had just gotten done uh, building this stuff here. The gatherer's hut here, not really doing anything because it's so, so new. The wooden house here, got a nice little family going. They already have a kid. Need this Forester's Lodge, and we need logs. Now, the whole reason we got the Forester's Lodge up here is because we need logs. Uh, pretty desperately, actually, because we have no stored firewood either. Which is why, let's see, we only have the one laborer. Uh, you know what, we might need to... I don't want to do this. We might need to cancel our, uh, our school. We need people. We need people bad. You know what? We don't need a tailor, and we don't really need tools right now. So I'm going to get rid of the tailor. Our blacksmith is already gone. We need the one vendor. We need the one trader. We need the one teacher. Foresters, we're looking fine. Woodcutter, we need both of them. Hunter, we're fine. You know what? We can even lower that by one. Fisherman, we're good on food. I want to stay good on food, so I'm not touching that. Gatherer. Um, again, with food we're fine right now, so I'm going to leave that there. Herdsman, same thing. Actually, you know what? We're at capacity already. I don't want to do that. Uh, we're at capacity. It's doing fine. I can take off one of the herdsmen. And farmer, we're going to leave the way that that is right there. Builder, we're good. So, we've got the five extra laborers. I need them to harvest some damn trees like, like right now, like yesterday. So I'm going to have them take these trees out right here. That should give us plenty. And what I'm going to... Uh, you know what? I was going to make another uh, stockpile, but this one here is just fine. Uh, should be fine. So let's see how this uh, fishing dock is doing. 395. That kind of sucks. This one, 758. That's solid. This one should be doing the best out of all of them. 105. Man, that's that's horrible. So we have two there. We have three there, and here we have another two. So, you know what? We're fine. You know what? We're going to do this. We're going to lower this guy. Remove one from there. Uh, and that'll just give us another labor uh, that'll help out with the clearing of this wood right here, which is, that's like our number one priority right now. We need more logs because we need firewood pretty desperately. It's early summertime, so it's not such a huge need like it would be in the autumn or the wintertime. But as you can see, we still have a house here that has no wood. And uh, Nanatina here, 87 years old, she's about to go. Uh, she needs some wood for her last days on Earth. Now, we don't want her to die cold because that would be pretty cold of us if we did that. Anyways, um... I think it might be time, no we have seven kids, I want to say it might be time to get some new houses put in. You know what, let's do that, just because we have the food right now, I'm not going to go crazy, I'm just going to do like two houses. Uh, let's throw those over here, uh, that'll help us kind of grow our population, our kids will start growing, be able to supply the, the, uh, the school with some kids, get some educated folks in here so we could be more... Uh, more efficient in what we do. All right, let's see what we got here. Cherry seeds. I would love cherry seeds. Uh, I think we're gonna need like 625. So let's bump this up and see 
if we can get them in time. That is going to cost us, let's see, how much does 440 give us? 440 gives us, we still need an additional 740. So let's see, and we got some more in. 538, still need 348 more. So like 80, 90. Still need 208. Come on, we're getting there. All right, we're almost there, guys. We're almost there. Let's do it. I want these cherry seeds. Cherries are one of my favorite fruit. That's why I'm so adamant about getting these damn cherry seeds in. We're almost there. 172. Had somebody else die of old age. Oh, come on, come on, come on. We need these cherry seeds. Deliver this wood. See, that's why we got the logs. Are we getting the uh, are we getting the logs over to our woodcutter? I hope so, cause I want these. Come on, don't leave yet, buddy. You leave, I'm gonna be upset. Come on, there are three more. That's not enough. We need a lot more. Come on, guys, deliver some damn uh, firewood over here. There, a little bit more. Still 128 units off, 116 units off, three at a time. You guys are killing me, man. Ah, this is gonna suck. We're gonna, we're not gonna get this. We're so close. 88 units away, man. 22, 22 away, 19 away. We're 19 damn firewood away from getting these cherry seeds. Ah, come on, please, guys, hurry up. Hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. Still at 606. Ah, we're high. I asked for 660. So they should be bringing them. I see we have a little bit of log over here. Just got some firewood, it just got picked up. It should be getting delivered. Come on, man. Come on, guys, you gotta hurry this up. Yeah, I see you cutting over here, so that's good. You're cutting, you're cutting, you're doing your job. And there you go, 24, 24, somebody needed a, there we go, come on, he's coming. See that, this guy right here with the wheelbarrow? Delivered a bunch. Let's do yeah, okay. We got it You must trade an additional 60. So let's see bam bam 25 Is that good? Yep trade bam. We got it. Oh, man. I did not think we would get that. I'm shocked Shocked that we actually got that uh, Now where do we put it? Um, let us do Let's see here. We could do a road. We can continue this road. We can kind of move it up here like this Oh, we can't do that, huh? All right, we'll just do that right there. And we can throw, let's throw a road down here, actually. Uh, good, that will connect a little road right there. Beautiful. Uh, let's try to throw it down right there. Now, this is a cherry, so it's a cherry orchard. So it's this little one right here. We will do something like that. 15 by 14, that's fine. That'll fit quite nicely. Assign the cherries there. And um, yeah, so we have the farmer. We need 12 really for like ideal production, but we only have five, which, you know what, that's fine. Uh, we can live with that. With the, uh, you know, one of these uh, houses can take over those duties of the farm right there. Shouldn't be a problem, we should be fine. Reserve of logs is low, uh, firewood is low, storage, yeah. You know what, let's lower what we need here because I want to get enough uh, so that we can actually start kind of hoarding them over here for our own people. Um, yeah, so they got those for the most part. There's still some left to be got. Uh, we have 10 kids, 3 students. Um, 
I don't think any of the students have really graduated too recently. Maybe maybe one or two. Nothing special though. We right now we just need people. We need population, which uh, is one of the reasons I built these homes up here. Uh, let's see, forty and thirty. Uh, you know what? We do need to build more houses. Um, let's do two more. I would like. Can we fit one in here? Probably not. Uh, I want to rotate it. Why isn't it? Oh, there we go. Pressing the wrong one. There we go. Oh, no, we can't fit one in there. Oh, that sucks. That's fine. You know what? That'll be fine. We will throw another house down here. If it'll fit. No, it won't fit. Why not? Oh, there's a little hill right there. That's fine. Whatever. We'll throw one over here. And then, you know what we could do? You know, let's throw one. No, I'm going to save that for another farm or something right there. Um, let's throw another house over here, maybe? It'll be a little bit closer. Maybe a fisherman and one of these farmers can live there. And let's do another house. No, you know what I said I was going to do two. That's all I'm going to do. I'm going to do the two. Uh, firewood is getting stored up. That's nice. That's good. We need that. Tools are running a little bit low, so I'm going to do a blacksmith. I'm going to assign him again. Start working on pumping out some of those tools. And we're looking good over here. Let's see how our uh, the gatherer's doing. Eh, it's doing okay. Not too special, but it's doing okay. So last season, it got us 79 logs, which I would like for it to be a little bit more. Uh, we're kind of short on stone, so let's try to get some of this stone out of this area. Um, that'll probably help with gathering a little bit more. What else do we have over here? The house and the hunting cabin, which the hunting cabin... You know, it's doing a decent job. Venison and leather, uh, not really super important that we worry about the food right now because we have over 5,000. And the leather we're not worried about because all that does is give us coats. And we have plenty of wool from these sheep over here. See that, 84 and 60. We're doing fine with that. We're looking good on food. I'm still worried about the logs. Uh, I want to assign one or two of these laborers over to our, uh, let's see, the forester. But I want to keep the laborers so that they can continue uh, chopping down some of this wood over here. Um, yeah. yeah. You know what, let's just do it. Let's just suck it up. Um, we're going to assign two laborers. To be foresters now that should speed up uh, the production of our logs from the foresters actually we're going to take away one of the builders because we don't need we're not building anything right now everything's been built the houses are done and i'm going to assign another forester now we have eight spots available we have six so that's uh what three quarters we have three quarters of our uh, foresters assigned that is in my opinion like the perfect ratio because if you assign that fourth one to each forester's hut, it won't uh, give you the production that like a second forester or a third forester will. And that pretty much works for every every little building. Um, when you get to the capacity, you're just not... Assigning that last person won't give you the production that the first, the second, or the third, or whatever will. Uh, if that makes any sense. Our gatherer's hut up here is doing all right for being somewhat new, especially with all this stone around. See how all this stone is in the area? The stone being there, in my opinion, it makes it so that you can't gather stuff from those spots. So it, we need to have that stone removed in order for the gatherer's hut and the forester's lodge to be, like, you know, in prime location. So let's actually do that. Let's remove all this stone. That's going to take a long time. Especially with me knocking down the laborers to only three, but we should be fine. Uh, we're not sla we're not missing anything on coats. I was gonna say we're not slacking on the coats. Our tailor did a good job. We have over a hundred still. Tools are being worked on now by uh, our assigned blacksmith. We have good iron. Stone we'll have even more of because we assigned all of this as well as down there. We're still uh, short on logs, that's why we upped the foresters. Uh, firewood, that's just something once we get more logs, we'll get more firewood. Not too concerned about that right now, even though 32 is pretty low. 
food we're good on. You know what? We should probably get our uh, uh, herbalist. Um, hmm. We could put the herbalist up. Nope. We could put the herbalist like over here somewhere. And that way they'll be able to gather. Is it over here? No. They'll be able to gather. Is that? Yeah. Herbalist. See in that circle? They'll be able to gather stuff from over here. And I then think people will come. Will it fit in here? No. People will then come to the herbalist to get healed up once um, if you know if somebody gets sick they'll be able to to come over and uh, get get some medicine or herbs or whatever and get healed let's do it right there um, yeah I think that's a decent spot for it because I think they need the forest to gather that stuff so if I put them more over here like in the towns uh, town center uh, they won't, they'll be in a good spot for people to go to them, but they won't be in a good spot to actually uh, go to an herbalist that has herbs for healing. So I'm going to put them right there. I know I talked a lot about that and it probably didn't make sense, but whatever. That's where I'm putting it. Hopefully that get built pretty soon. Now, which houses did we add? Um, I know we added this one. Oh, a 50, what? 51 year old. Please don't tell me the 51-year-old is with a 10-year-old. I'm hoping... Is that Merlin? Uh, yeah. Mer I'm hoping... I, I don't know. Is that the male symbol or is that the female symbol? Which one is that? Anyways, I'm hoping that they're... they're ki his kids or her kids or whatever. That would be kind of... Not, uh, not cool. Anyways, we added this house down here too. 50 years old. Man, that's not right. But you know what? It is going up. We have 11 uh, children now with 8 students. So our population is growing the way we want it to grow. This house is empty. Ready to be moved into. That's an ideal house right there. We're good right there. They're an old couple that's going to die somewhat soon. Old man living by himself. Sarium, again. Old person living by themselves. You guys should probably just move in together. Uh, create another house for people to move into. Again, look at that, 75 years old, 72 years old. We have a bunch of old people that need to just kind of kind of go. I know I had a trader over here. I kind of miss them, but uh, that's fine because I don't really have the wood to trade for anything right now anyways. So we're looking good. Um, we have this cherry orchard. That's going to take a while to come in. Uh, these these farms here are producing just fine, I think. Didn't want to do that. There we go. 820. That's good. If you produce 820 every year, I'll be happy with that. 1412. Awesome. That farm is producing sweet. How is the orchard over here doing with our walnuts? Uh, 528. 800. All right. Sweet. 800. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Um, fisherman again. Uh, 688 that's not not horrible up here oh man you're just sucking dude is it because you're so far away Merlin me, me whatever your name is man living by or you're living there with your 10 year old I hope it's not your whatever and you're you're slacking you're just not producing how we need you to produce come on man that's a great spot for fish too look at how much water it covers all right, I might have to demolish that if it continues to produce so uh, so little. Um, maybe it's just because it's so far away. Maybe we'll just eventually build out here some more. Uh, that way they won't have to worry about... Uh, it'll, it'll be more towards uh, our center of our town because our center will expand out that way a little bit more. Um, how are we looking? Everything is built. Nope, I lied. Not everything is built. And... People are dying because we now have no labors whatsoever. So what I'm going to do, I know I just uh, upped it, but I'm going to have to lower our forester. I'm going to assign a builder to, what do we need built? Oh yeah, the, uh, the herbalist. So I'm going to assign one builder. Farmer, I'm going to keep the same. Uh, herdsman, I'm going to keep the same. Gatherer, 
Yep, keeping that everything. I'm gonna keep everything the same. You know, I think we could probably get rid of a hunter. I'm gonna get rid of the hunter. That'll give us another laborer. I'm gonna up the builder until this gets finished. It's at 85%, so that's gonna be finished really soon. Once that gets done, which is gonna be here in like three seconds, bam. I'm actually going to lower the builders and I'm gonna assign one herbalist. And now we have the three laborers uh, doing what we need as far as resources, moving stuff from place to place. We're looking good. Um, again, logs are an issue. I've tried to address that with the forester, which I just had to lower. But what's this down here? Stored textiles. All right, that's probably more than what we need. Our storage barn is 100% full. Our market is 62% full. So I think it's so we, we probably need another storage barn, which if I do add one, let's see here. Uh, storage barn. If Can I fit one? No, I can't fit one right there. That's like the ideal place where I'd want to put one right there. Can't do that. I don't really want to put one out here. Although I probably shouldn't, but that's, I want to put more farms down here. And putting one over here would be kind of counterproductive because that's still kind of far away. But it would allow us to expand up that way a little bit more, maybe over here. Let's see, where do we want to grow? If we do grow, maybe we could go down there. But that's where our storage barn is already. Um, you know what, we're not going to really be able to fit anything over there. So let's put it right there. All right, so that storage barn is going to get done. And yeah, I think we're looking pretty good. That's going to be the end of this episode. We are uh, continuing to do pretty well. 29 adults, 10 students, 10 kids. Uh, a lot of the people that are dying, because we had 33 adults to start, I think. Uh, most of that was just old people dying, which nothing you can do, part of life, whatever. Probably weren't too productive anyways, as we saw with uh, Merlin or whatever. But yeah, if you guys like this episode, do me a favor, hit that like button. Uh, leave a comment in the comment section if you saw something I could improve, or if you want to see me uh, add something else into our little town here. Yeah, um, that's going to be it for this episode. Hope you guys liked it, and hopefully I'll catch you guys on another one of my videos. Until then, I hope you guys have a great day. Bye.